Hey there guys, Zach here from Invasor and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10036. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build which was 9926. So let's just dive straight in. The first noteworthy change in this build are the improvements to the start menu. As you can see the start menu is now finally transparent and there are a number of other little tweaks done to it to make it better overall. So up here there are no longer any icons next to the places area and that just makes it more embedded, more permanent to the start screen. Uh, I think that's a nice change, I kind of like it. It does definitely look more modern. Also I believe hitboxes are slightly smaller. Uh, that may just be me but I, I think they are. So. <laughs> Just take a look there and, and, and make your own judgments, I guess. Uh, the All Apps button has uh, changed from an arrow to a list icon, I guess. And here is the All Apps area, as per usual. Now, as you can see here, there is a drop-down arrow next to folders, and that indicates whether the drop, uh, a folder is a menu, a drop-down menu, which it usually is. So as you can see here, a uh, drop-down menu with a bunch of different programs in it. But there's a nasty bug in this build, and if uh, you can let replicate this bug yourself, by simply opening up a, with the Windows accessory folder and then closing it again. The start menu crashes and I don't know why. I believe it's got something to do with the amount of programs uh, in a folder, I guess. I'm not entirely sure, but it does entirely crash and it takes a few minutes for it to come back. But yes, that's one of the nasty bugs in this build of a few which make this build kind of inst unstable. So keep that in mind. This is pre-release software and does not represent the final product. Now up next is Task View, and Task View has received a major update. It has a new user interface, which is fairly nice. And uh, down at the bottom, your desktops are numbered. Now in this build, there's a weird bug, which uh, the desktops do not display the desktop background. Uh, no idea why, but uh, it's just a bug, I guess. So again, pre-release software. Uh, does not represent the final product, etc, etc. Now the behavior of Task View has changed in this build. You can now use desktops like you would expect to use desktops. So if I move to desktop one, the file explorer that I just opened is no longer open and if I click on it here it'll open a new instance. This is different from 9926 as in 9926 your application stayed open on the taskbar regardless of what of whatever desktop you were running. So uh, that, that's finally changed. You can change this behavior back to the way it was in 9926 if you wish but I think most people are going to like this new change done to task view. Uh, furthermore, you can finally move windows between desktops. So if I move this file explorer to desktop 3, you'll see it pops into desktop 3 and I can use it there as well, which is pretty cool. So Task View is definitely shaping up to be a great multi-desktop tool and something many people I believe will use. Now up next, the system tray has received a new hover UI which matches that of the notification center. Now this was a small thing in 9026, but everybody complained at the fact that the notification center had a different hover or highlight UI compared to the rest of the system tray. In this build, it shares the same highlight UI or hover UI, depending on what you call it, which is all fine and dandy. Also, the Windows Defender uh, program now has a wireframe icon in the system tray, and if you double click it, it will just open up Windows Defender. This program hasn't really been updated. It may get updated in the future. I have no idea. But speaking of Windows Defender, it now has a bunch of settings in the PC settings app. So if we go down to Windows Defender here, there are, an, are a number of different switches you can enable. You can add exclusions and so on, which is fairly nice. Also in this build, there is a new flyout, and this is a new Windows 10 flyout. So as you can see here, you get your Wi-Fi list, you get uh, your internet connection, and so on. You can This does work, it's not broken, although it isn't finished, so again, pre release software. Uh, enter a network key, so it all works like you would expect, and is all great. So it no longer opens up the settings app, and if you want to get to the settings app, just click network settings, and it'll open up the settings app for you. Now, going back into settings, there are a few different changes in this app. As you can see, the, the, I'm sure the highlight's different here. Uh, I believe the highlight's different here, which is fairly nice. And if we go into the multitasking area, this is where you can change uh, your task view uh, behavior. And in the dis display area, you can see here that everything now has the new sort of toggle UI. And I think it's just a bit more streamlined really in this area, which is fairly nice. Uh, Windows Insider, I don't know if this is new. I believe this is new. Uh, your progress, you now have progress. And um, Yes, yeah, so you can now track your progress and you may even get rewards, I'm not entirely sure. So you can see the missions, let's try, let's complete a mission, let's complete, uh, what can we do? Quick actions in the notification, done. 
you very useful. Submit, let's see what happens there. Give us more feedback. They want so much feedback. Right, um, let's see, did, did that do anything? Maybe, it's loading, it takes a while. Yes, one mission completed. So it tells you how many missions you completed and, and how many missions you completed on this device. And it also tells you your most upvoted feedback, which is fantastic as well. So I didn't know that. This is all, I'm sure this is new. I haven't seen this before. So there you go. Let's do this as well. How do you think of this build? It's, it's awesome, but slightly buggy. So let's see what they say. I know that's not really feedback. I'm sorry, Microsoft, but um, I know my feedback's not helping you out right now. I just need to uh, finish this video. Now the start button is also smaller. I have no idea why, it just is. Uh, smaller and yeah, it's just smaller. <laughs> There's not much else to say about it. Uh, the icons on the taskbar are slightly smaller as well. And speaking of icons on the taskbar, the thumbnail preview is now black or a darker gray. It looks nice, it's very modern, I like that. And of course it shows the same sort of essence as that of task view, which is fairly nice. So there you have it guys, that's a quick look at Windows 10 build 10036. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.